Morphin' time! Dragon Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber-Tooth Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Yeah! yeah! Power Rangers! The MMPR team was left with no choice but to battle the pumpkin-headed golems, who were different than regular golems. But the problem has with Dora Curse Monster as he was far too powerful compared to the Pumpkin Rapper. The MMPR teams were beaten like ragdolls by Dora Curse. Taste my dark magic, said Dora Curse as he fired some dangerous laser beams. We can't hold on, said Blue Ranger, cringing. We can't give up now, said Green Ranger. We have to save this era. Super Sentai are Power Rangers. We fight on the same side. That's right. Never give up. You can do it, said a now helpless Geki. We should combine our weapons, said Rain Ranger 1. Like old times. <laughs> version of the howling cannon too bad we can't help said may who was now acting like a mindless doll the power blaster fired at dora curse destroying him but not really he reassembled frightening the mmpr team and zoo rangers dark aura was rotating around whoa he's really much more powerful said red ranger one this can't be good even our power blaster can't beat him said black ranger one how i wonder how we can help the zoo rangers they need us as much as we need them said kimberly guys we better retreat with the zoo rangers said tommy in haste Fools, I am a master of the dark arts. Do you think you can beat me, said Dora Curse? Without the Zoo Rangers, you are a bunch of fakes and imitations, said Griffwarther. Now the test was a success. This time, Dora Curse, let's destroy them, said Zimba. You are all done for, said Dora Curse. Taste the fury of my blasts. The M MPR team was blasted so heavily that they too were defenseless. We're done for, said Billy. We can't give up just yet, said Trini, standing her martial arts position but fell down. Trini, don't be reckless, said Jason. I feel so weak, said Kimberly. Bandora suddenly can be heard. She appeared to the defeated Zoo Rangers of the MPR team. She did her evil laugh. Well, Zoo Rangers, your time has finally come, said Bandora. Though she looked similar to the Zoo Rangers, but she wasn't the same Rita they battled against. Plus, she was a queen at her right. She looks like Rita, but she isn't Rita, said Zack. I sense a greater evil in her. <sighs> Why must you insist on that every goddamn time, said Trini. Can't move. Well then, whether or not Barza chose you or not, I will finish you anyway, said Bandora. Bandora-sama, said Griffwarther. Let's finish them together. No, give our queen Bandora-sama the pleasure to finish them off, said Dora Curse. We all had our fun. That's right. Now feel the powers of darkness, said Bandora. This can't be good, said Kimberly. The Zhu Rangers are all helpless puppets and turned into a bunch of victims. Goshi wished he could stop breakdancing. Dan wished he didn't feel geeky. May wished he wasn't a doll. Bri wished he wasn't an archaeologist figure. Boy. But all of a sudden, the search guard time train appeared this time to pilot by Zordon and Alpha 5. Ay, 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 ay. Zordon, the Zoo Rangers and MMPR team need our help. I understand, Alpha 5, said Zordon. Now for desperate measures. Hope my magic and this science will save them. As Dora Curse was about to inflict the finishing blow, the search guard time train appeared and Zordon appeared. He was no longer dressed up in civilian attire, but in the attire he was as of Zordon of Eltar, for now. Rita, said Zordon in shock. I'm not Rita. My name is Witch Bandora. Ah, you must be Barza's twin brother, said Bandora. Whoever you are, just die. Zordon? Asked the MMPR, still delirious from the battering. Rangers, we must get out of here. Critical teleportation, said Zordon. In an instant, Zordon blinked in a wave of light, distracting the forces of evil and taking away the Zoo Rangers and the... Drat! Could Barza have learned a trick? Or where in the world does he have a twin? Said Bandora angrily. Forgive me, Bandora-sama, said Griffwarther. You forgot one thing! As long as we have those voodoo dolls, they are at our mercy, said Bandora. At the search guard time train, Zordon noticed the plight of the Zoo Rangers. This is bad, Zordon. Can't we do anything for them? asked Kimberly. I'm afraid not. And that person, was she Rita or some other person? asked Zora. Guy Ikarai told us she is Witch Bandora, a queen at her own right, said Jason. She is more frightening than I thought, than that character who at first can't match her lips when she speaks, said Zordon. The Zhu Rangers were now rendered in a doll-like state, then snapped back to reality. Hey, what am I doing dressed up as a girl, said Boy, who then noticed his clothes were back on. I feel too geeky. For the last time, I hate science, said Dan. I don't dance, said Goshi. 
The magic has worn off, but that was just round one, said Zordon. If this is a powerful magic we are against, but where could it have come from, asked Geki. Just then they began to act like dolls again. No, said Kimberly as she cried. We need to see Barza, said Jason. Guy Ikerai told us that Barza, the mentor of the Zoo Rangers, is a wise sage. A wise sage, you say, said Zordon. Then kindly take me to him. I'm afraid my magic won't be enough to help them. We got you, Zordon, said Tommy. Meanwhile, the Zoo Rangers were perplexed to find an old man who thought face-wise he was no longer looking like Barza, but he had the attire of Barza for a short time. Tommy began to get confused as well. So if Zordon is our mentor, then Barza is the Zordon of the Super Sentai era? This conflict has more than meets the eye, said Tommy. Just then, Director Aya contacted them through communication. Jason, I have heard from the reports that you are all fighting against a frightening magic. That's why I sent Zora on Alpha 5 to help, said Director Aya. You must all see Barza. Zordon will need two of him, and Barza, I believe, is another like him. Right now, this is a terrible black magic you are all facing. Right now, I'm hoping Guy Ikari's Sentai knowledge will help you people find a solution, said Director Aya. At the USSPR base, Director Aya began to approach Guy Ikari. On the other hand, she had some priorities, like sending the Ninja Storm team to the Wind Ninja Academy so they, too, can join the battle. Guy, you could help us with the power of the Super Sentai Encyclopedia that was given to you by Aka Red. Try to find anything of voodoo-related incidents in the Super Sentai. Meanwhile, I might send some reinforcements to try to find out who's handling the voodoo, said Director Aya. Yes, Director, said Guy Ikurai, saluting. Good luck, said Director Aya. Guy Yuki looked behind the scenes, confident of Guy Ikurai's abilities to help out. I'm glad I did not lock him up in detention for that minor mistake. On the other hand, how am I supposed to tell anyone about the fact I'm going to die a second time in this battle, said Guy Yuki. Guy Ikurai entered the huge library that nobody except those authorized by Aka Red could enter. Keyword is voodoo. Find me some archives in the Super Sentai of past teams who fought with voodoo-related monsters, said Guy Ikarai. Just then images of the Five Man and Dynaman began to uncover. Guy Ikarai began to unfold some events related to voodoo. The books began to appear in an astral plane. Every episode of Super Sentai was revealed like never before. Akared then appeared. There's more to your this gift of yours than you think, Guy Ikarai, said Akared. In fact, Radigat chose you because you were chosen at birth to have the powers of the Super Sentai Encyclopedia. The Zhu Rangers were no longer the only victim of the voodoo dolls and mo would follow. Now, a lot of queer events were happening that the children didn't know was their fault. The policemen were dancing like stupid. Policemen were suddenly appearing inside bathtubs in public, and others had even suddenly died because a dog suddenly chewed on the voodoo doll. Prince Pan also appeared. <laughs> Zoo Rangers, you may have retreated right now, but you are all defenseless against this new power, said Bandora. Indeed, the delay was worth it, wasn't it, Bandora? Sama said Prince Pan. Pui pee. Prince Pan, looks like this is the best monster we've all cooked up thanks to the United Alliance of Evil. Now the Zoo Rangers are all dead meat thanks to a group of brats, said Bandora with a smile. Bandora Sama, should we strike further, said Griff Forther. We should strike while the iron is hot, said Dora Curse. We don't know where they escaped. We must take advantage of how much stupidity that Zoo Rangers, as well as their new allies, Super Sentai or Power Rangers, they are both trash deals to be destroyed. Will the Zoo Rangers and the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers manage to defeat the horrible evil hate that the monster has, or will they be destroyed? Stay tuned. Meanwhile... Lammy and Jarman can be seen operating at the amusement park, selling more voodoo dolls to an unsuspecting customers, while Tobot and Boobak disguise themselves as clowns, handing out plush dolls. Can they find a way to defeat Dora Curse? Let's find out! End note. Real life is getting on to me, pretty much as well as my high passion for blogging than fanfic writing, to which I would admit I tend to suck at whenever I'm a nerve wreck, and I've had a lot of anger tensions lately. It does feel good to have some concerned writers who try to help my story prove, but it does get annoying when people rush me to hurry up writing, even if it's just one or two. Well, I can't say I've botched this either, and I'm still addressing my other works, to which I hope won't be destroyed. So I would gladly accept team writing. Just private message me and give me your email address so we can start on that. Because right now, all delays and deteriorations are a result of juggling with work, hobby, and other stuff. I should have known better than to write when the brain is stressed as I am more a blogger now than a story writer. If you are a Power Rangers fan who wants to learn more about Super Sentai, I will gladly send you some friendly blogs aside from mine. To the 11 people who favorited this fic, I hope you can help me with team writing as well. WHO THE FUCK CARES?! THIS STORY IS FINALLY DONE! Hey!
an unmitigated disaster from start to finish. If you're expecting my final thoughts here though, I'm afraid this part's already gone on too long as it is. Fortunately, I'll be releasing a separate video on what I think about this story as a whole later on. See you then.